Hi, and welcome back to another video. So you want to raise layerbirds in Jamaica, but you don't know how much it would cost you to set up such an operation. Well, you're watching the right video if you want this answer. Be sure to subscribe and watch the full video to get a full understanding of venturing in the egg business. Okay, let's go. So if you're planning on raising layerbirds, the first thing you need to do is ensure that you have a market for the product that you're planning to produce. In this case, that product is eggs. The next thing that you need to have is the proper infrastructure to house your layers and proper cleaning equipment to clean the eggs, as eggs need to be cleaned after the birds lay them. And also ensure that you have proper storage facility for your eggs. Now, for housing of your layers, there are different ways in which layers are housed, such as battery cage and deep litter system. For the battery cage system, layer birds are housed in an arrangement of rows and columns of identical cages connected together in a unit as in an artillery battery. Battery cage systems aren't usually used by small farmers as it is expensive. It is mostly used by industrial producers. The housing system that is mostly used by small scale farmers is the deep litter poultry farming system. And that's the housing system where birds are raised on the floor and sawdust is spread on the ground repeatedly. And this is the system that's mostly used in Jamaica. Now, let's look at choosing your location for your poultry house. Now, the location of your poultry house is key as environmental factors plays a role in your layer's productivity. It is best to have your poultry house in a quiet area. The area should be dry and well drained to prevent long periods of dampness. Next thing is spacing. Spacing is very important for your layers. Ensure that each bird have sufficient space to reduce humidity level in the house. A lack of spacing can cause heat stress and thus resulting in reduced productivity of your hens. A good poultry house protects the birds from adverse weather conditions, injury and predators. Ventilation is also very important. Ensure you have large size windows or use large size mesh wire. A good ventilation system delivers fresh air inside the house and removes excess heat, moisture and undesirable gases from the house. Now, let's look at the cost of layer birds and layer feeds in Jamaica. At present moment, Layers are usually sold at a stage when they are ready to lay eggs, and one layer costs about $1,500 to $1,800. For feed, layers don't consume the same feed as broiler birds. They are fed with what's called layer ration, which is formulated to maximize egg production. At the moment, a bag of layer ration costs $2,825. Now, let's look at an example of how much it would cost to raise 100 layer birds in Jamaica. We have already looked at how much one layer bird costs, and that's between $1,500 to $1,800. It all depends on where you are purchasing from. Cost price will vary. For this example, our cost for one bird will be $1,800. So for 100 layer birds, it's 100 layers times $1,800 which would cost us $180,000. Now, how much space do we need for 100 layer birds? Generally, laying hens require about 2.5 to 3 square feet of floor space for each bird. So that's about 250 square feet to 300 square feet for 100 birds. Now, let's look at the cost of feeding 100 layers. On average, one layer consume 110 grams or 0 0.110 kilograms of feed per day. So 100 layers will consume about 11 kilograms of feed per day and 11 kilograms in pounds is 24 pounds. Now a bag of layer feed holds 25 kilograms of feed which is 55 pounds. So for the entire week, your layers will consume 77 kilograms of feed, which is 3 bags of feed per week. So for the entire month, it will take 12 bags of layer ration to feed 100 layers. We already know the cost of the layer ration, which is $2,825. So 12 bags of feed would cost you $33,900 per month. 
Now, let's look at water costs. Like with all living things, layers cannot survive without water. On average, layers consume about 1 liter of water per day. So for 100 birds, that's 100 liters per day, which is 24 gallons. So for a month, they would consume about 672 gallons of water at a rate of $7.27 per gallon. That's $4,885.44 per month for water. But water cost is not something you will have to worry about if you have your own rainwater catchment system, which would cut down on your cost. Now, let's look at how much eggs your layers will produce at their peak. Hens lay up to one egg per day, which is a process that takes 24 to 26 hours for each egg. So 100 layers will produce 100 eggs per day, which is 700 eggs per week. And for the entire month, that's a total of 2,800 eggs. Now, how much is this worth? At this very moment, one egg costs exactly $33.33. .33. So in other words, one dozen egg costs four hundred dollars, and one flat of egg that holds thirty costs one thousand Jamaican dollars. So your two thousand eight hundred eggs that your hens produce per month is worth about ninety three thousand three hundred and twenty four Jamaican dollars. So let's do some more maths. Let's see if we are able to make a profit. Let's look at our profit and expenses for the month. So our expenses are feed, which costs $33,900, and water, which costs $4,885.44. So total expense for the month is $38,784.44. Please note, expenses such as transport fee, labor fee, and your electrical bill is not included in this calculation. This is just the basic expenses we are looking at which is feed and water. Now we know that our revenue per month is about $93,324. So revenue minus expense. So our profit would be $54,539.56 per month. Let's look at how much our layers will produce and earn throughout their lifetime as we have not accounted for the $180,000 we paid for our ends. Layers can live for about 6 to 8 years and most flocks will produce eggs for 3 to 4 years with the level of egg production and egg size and quality decreasing each year. So for a small commercial production, it is best to keep them for about 2 years. So for a period of 2 years, our layers would have produced approximately 67,200 eggs which would be worth approximately $2,239,776 which is $1,119,888 per year. So expenses for the two years for feed is $813,600. For water is $117,250.60. And the cost of the birds is $180,000. So our total expense is $1,110,850.06. And our total profit is our total revenue, which is $2,239,776 minus our total expense $1,110,850.06, which gives us a profit of $1,128,925.04. Now, a lot can change in a two-year period. Some operations even push their birds to three years of production. Raising 100 layers would be excellent for a backyard operation looking to make some extra money. This breakdown is meant to be very simple so persons interested could hopefully get a better understanding of venturing into the egg business. You could use the example given to try and see how much a different size operation would cost and can make. Just plug in your numbers, simple maths. Now, if you found this video helpful, please go ahead and subscribe, leave a like, share the video and leave a comment. Let me know what video you would like to see next. Thanks for watching.